Hello, this is Haku, and and I am reading something the wiki dot article and the fandom article for what is known as the back rooms. We're starting with level zero and we'll be moving onward in numerical order from then on. Level zero has survival difficulty of class one. Safe, secure, and minimal entity count. Which means that there will be there is a possibility of there being entities. But you probably won't see them before you can manage to escape. Whew. Level zero is the first level of the back rooms and the first level many encounter. Level zero is the one and only level that everyone considers to be a valid backrooms level. Once you get to one and onward, the canosity of these, these levels to everyone else decreases. There are somewhere only the first four levels, which include level zero, so zero, one, two, and three are canon. Somewhere only a zero to eight are canon, and my personal or preferred one, where every single of these endless amounts of levels is canon. <sighs> Level zero is a non-linear space resembling the back rooms of a retail outlet. Similar to its previous form, all rooms in level zero appear uniform and share superficial features such as yellow wood wallpaper, damp carpet, and inconsistently placed fluorescent lighting. However, no two rooms within the level are identical. The installed lighting flickers inconsistently and hums at a constant frequency. This buzzing is notably louder and more obtrusive than any an ordinary fluorescent humming. An examination of pictures to determine the source has been inconclusive. The substance saturating the carpet cannot be consistently identified. I've heard that it's spinal fluid. It is not water, nor is it safe to consume. Linear space in level zero is altered drastically. It is possible to walk in a straight line and return to the starting point. Now, tracing your steps will result in a different set of rooms appearing than the ones that's already passed through. Due to this and the visual similarity between rooms, consistent navigation is extremely difficult. Devices such as compass and GPS locators fail to function within the level and radio communications are distorted and unreliable. Hmm. Level zero is apparently entirely still on the point of life, despite the fact that it is the primary entrance to the back rooms. Contact with other, level, other wanderers in the level has never been reported, presumably a great number where people have died before exiting. The most likely cause is being dehydration, starvation, and psychological trauma due to sensory deprivation and isolation. However, no corpses have been reported from these hypothetical deaths. Right, because, of, because instead of dying from the last one, you turn into something known as a wretch, which I will go over later. Attempting to enter level zero, or accidentally entering level zero, in a group will result in the separation of the group until the level is exited. Hallucinations are common in level zero, the most common being 
Home from the lighting increasing to a deafening volume, then abruptly silencing. The appearance of doors. The appearance of stairs. Acute deja vu. Human-like speech resembling no known language. Movement and peripheral vision resembling insects crawling underneath the wallpaper, which disappears once the wall is observed directly. Insect-like chittering. According to analysis, the CO2 levels was within level zero are raising at a steady rate. The significance of this is unknown. No entities are known to exist within the level, except wretches, um, party goers, and skin sellers. But okay, and I guess the smilers. If you see, hear, or encounter what you believe to be another a wanderer, it is not a human. <sighs> Entrances and exits. There is only one exit, I mean entrance, that is canon and, and through any, yeah, idea of how many levels there are in the back rooms. And none of them are canon, all of them, just in here. Accidental no clipping out of bounds of reality's most consistent way of ex accessing level zero, and by extension, the back rooms. The fortresses of level 283 rarely contain wooden doors that smell of mold. Entering these doors will lead to level zero. I've heard of other levels that do actually end up with you going back to level zero by accident, but I forgot other methods of coming back here. Exits. Exiting level 0 is only possible by no clipping, which will always result in entry to level 1. As newcomers to level 0 are often unfamiliar with the mechanics of the back rooms, it is necessary to keep your bearings and adapt quickly to the environment in order to exit. Entrance to the Manila room is rare, but possible by walking a great distance in any direction. Unlike level 0, wanderers can meet freely in the Manila room. But the room is a dead end. Rather, it functions as a rendezvous room for wanderers who, who survived the trek. Additionally, documentation from the MEG can be found in the Manila room. Assisting newcomers in survival and escape. Instructions on how to know clay can be found in data missing. So it can be found in something, just not sure what. <sighs> There's more information on the other wiki. This one's a bit different. And I guess I should probably go over some of the entities and uh, people that you might find in level zero, such as the MEG, where do you find documentation from? You know, if it loads.
were not here to listen to that. That would hurt my ears too much. <sighs> anyway, this is one thing. It's called a wretch. Wretches are wanderers who have undergone mental changes, wilting them into a creature of blood and pus. Wretches can vary widely in appearance, and whom they have separate the categories of a specimen. Wretches share an oddly similar genetic structure with Jim Sandys. We're not looking into that today. From level 1234. Many specimens of wretches commonly produce oral gags or snarls with little known purpose. While some retain distorted speech or does not sound Although it is not known whether it's actually a past self or just oral sounds produced by stress given by the mental strain. Embers of the past are hard to discern, but visible if closely observed. One was spot personal keepsakes, like clothing, tools, or personal belongings, though often and mutilated belong recognition. Mutations are frequent and and wretches, often resulting in misplaced eyes, disjointed or excess limbs, or even fleshy skeletal wings. A common and formidable ovarian manifests as a deformed mass of flesh, consisting almost entirely of eyes, mouths, and other orifices of unknown purpose. Wretches are almost always hostile, but more than that, they're Behavior varies wildly. They carry weapons and tools such as firearms, grenades, melee weapons, etc. Moreover, there have been concerned, confirmed sightings of wretches wearing tactical gear and night vision goggles. Rarely you will encounter a group of five wretches armed with an arsenal of weaponry. This specific sighting has been confirmed by multiple wanderers. Some wretches will form groups, whereas others will remain and solitary. Some will actively hunt humans while others will choose an area to live in and will only kill wanderers who enter their area. Other enemies in, in, in the back rooms tend not to hurt wretches, sometimes even forming packs with them. These are the sages that a human transforming into a wretch will pass through. During stage one, a human it will begin developing mental symptoms of the change. These can include schizophrenia, developing problems with certain naturally occurring brain chemicals, including neurotransmitters and, called dopamine and and glutam. Amate, I cannot say that right. I don't know. Psychosis. Almond water can usually cure them of these changes, but this is not permanent nor guaranteed to work. Stage 2. During this stage, their skin will, will begin to become red and raw, while others' symptoms include itchiness and irritation. Almond water can cure them, but they may still have permanent scars on their skin. Their body will gain further traits of a fully... No, sorry. Stage 3. Their bodies it will, be, will gain in further traits of a fully developed wretch. Their skin and muscle tissue will begin to dissolve in an unnatural fashion, often developing orifices, assaults, sometimes developing holes in their body. They will scream in, in pain if they are fed almond water. Giving them enough almond water Otter will usually kill them, but there have been some cases where they return to their full mental state, albeit with horrible physical deformities. Stage 4. They are full or wretch, with all the traits of their type. They will begin in a large, they will develop a large open smile, mostly without teeth, and there are rumors of a benevolent and fourth stage wretch. But these are unconfirmed. So you should probably avoid wretches if you can.
Further evolution. It is widely rumored that a wretch can be formed into a gym sanity under the right conditions. There is very little information on this topic, so the exact process by which this happens is unknown. <sighs> There's one thing I did want to look at. I guess I'll back, go back to the main page. We're going to look into the Meg because they were mentioned earlier, or the Major Explorer Group. <sighs> the MEG Explorer create a government v human. This plate isn't so different, is it? They're apparently the first humans that uh, made in here. I mean, into the back rooms. <sighs> the MEG, or Major Explorer Group, is a large and influential group existing within the back rooms. The group was founded by the first in 1885 and finalized in terms of leadership in the year 1900. The EMEG acts as a form of government for the first few thousand levels of the backrooms. It is effectively in this role the rulers of the groups of the group are called it empresarios, who either inherit their position or are elected in their position. The prime directive of the major explorer group is to help wanderers enact a government in the backrooms to cease anarchy and chaos. In synopsis, the directive of the group is to be a helping hand that accomplishes this through sort the of database and operates advising wanderers with no way to enforce laws or physically help on many levels. They are the canon reason why we have, well, the uh, wikis conduct x o six three excerpt six the major explorer group yearns to be helpful and kind and tolerance to what on is strictly forbidden and a governmental form of justice is what the group reaches so far are to achieve The hierarchy of the major explorer group is as follows. At the top, you have the first. Then, you have the consistence of the consensus of impresarios. Then, the head of security. Then, the head of science. Then, you have the head of the editorial council, the editorial council, local directors, Heads of science locally, heads of local security, scientists and guards, and janitorial or trivial positions. <sighs> the consistence of uh, 
Aserios is the primary governing body of the major explorer group, replying only to the first. It consists of 11 members. Empresario O.G. Leslie and Empresario L. Joshua are contented in power, yet are still below the first. The following are noteworthy Empresarios. I do not know if I'm pronouncing any of these words correctly, by the way. Leslie Ibernadot, Empresario of the Graces, King August II, Empresario of the Kingdom of Clarn, Rosemary, Empresario due to appointment by the first. MEG regiments and projects. Regiments are occupations which follow a more militaristic organization within the IMEG. Most regiments are composed of teams which work together across missions, assignments, expeditions, and other dangerous work. Due to the scarred nature of the MEG, regiments cannot be easily classified and supported. This lack of promotions and confused structure leads to millions upon millions of soldiers and junior researchers not even officially recognized. Being the main influx of information, hundreds of regiments are wiped out in dead zones on the weekly, which leads to a disorganized rush of promotions. We're lower on the hierarchy. In the constant death means that uh, local government roles will be virtually will be changed virtually every month. A typical MEG regiments consists of two groups of an average, two researchers or operatives, and five guards or subjects, connected via the internet. These groups take turns on expeditions, with one directing the others in experiments and collections of footage. If experiments are successful, information will be put on this database immediately. However, if severe casualties are taken, the in investigation will work its way up the hierarchy until it is either found out or declared by the empresarios to be unsolvable. Either way, operations will cease. MEG Divisions Divisions are occupations which follow a more civil organization within in the MEG. They often manage logistical or research-based tasks and are comprised of teams who carry out orders for the leaders of the major explorer group, the Empresarios. I know oh, there's more I need to go over, but I think that's enough for today. This has been Haku the Bean. I hope that you like, subscribe, and maybe leave a comment.